Ladies, are you ready to leave behind the lazy girl at the leisure wear and move into a more elevated casual style? Well, today let's talk about losing and ditching the athleisure wear and moving into a era of more confidence. Let's talk about it. How did we get here? How did we get to this place where wearing our workout clothes every day, all day was okay? Well, welcome to the 2020, 2021, 2022 pandemic where things were closed down. We weren't going anywhere. We weren't doing anything. And even if we were showing up for those at work meetings on Zoom, we could blur out our backgrounds. We could pop a collar and we could show up and do our work as well as spending hours binging our favorite show on Netflix. That's how we got here. However, we are three plus years post pandemic. We are back to traveling. We are back to dining and dating and doing all the things that we did pre pandemic. However, the style quite hasn't recovered. So welcome to the Dress With Purpose podcast. My name is Amanda Hall, and let's talk about how we can move from this athleisure, lazy girl mentality and style and move into a more put together casual look. Now, don't get me wrong, athleisure wear can look put together. In fact, some of the ladies in the neighborhood tease me because I have matching workout outfits when I go out to walk my dog in the morning, or I go to the gym, I like to look put together. So there is a way to make your athleisure wear look put together and pull together. In fact, my outfits for long airline travel and long car rides, I have kind of a uniform that I wear that helps me to look good and feel confident and be able to be comfortable as I move throughout traveling. But I don't take that philosophy into my everyday style. Now, I work from home, so I have the ability to stay in my athleisure wear all day long if I chose to. However, there have been multiple studies that have proven when you get up and you get dressed and you get into a mindset of feeling more confident, you become more productive and more focused. And that really is part of what it means for me and why I am so passionate about dress with purpose and why it is so important for us when we get dressed. Now, when I talk about get dressed with purpose, I'm talking about your whole appearance, your hair, your makeup, your clothing, the way you style it. Your style communicates something visually to people. As much as I would love to say that we don't live in a world that judges a book by its cover, most people judge a book by its cover. What do you want your cover to say? Do you want your cover to communicate this lazy girl style or do you want your cover to communicate a strong, confident woman? who, even if she works from home, takes the time to get dressed, put herself together. Studies have shown that people are more productive and more focused when they get up, get dressed, and put themselves together. And ladies, it is the whole package, the whole woman I talk about when I mean get dressed with purpose. It's not just the outside, it's the inside. It's feeling confident, confident and comfortable in who you are. As a woman who is more mature in her age, it helps me 
to feel more confident, to be more productive in my days. It would be really easy as someone who works from home to sit in my athleisure wear. But I know when I do that, I am making a choice not to get as much stuff done as I may have planned to or may have wanted to because it does affect my mindset. Now, I am not saying that we don't need those lazy girl days to recoup and recover and have that mindset because that's those types of days are good for our mental health just to recover, to do things that we enjoy, but don't require us to have a lot of thought in it. Just those girls, maybe it's a self pamper day, whatever it is. However, on a normal day to get up, get ready, get dressed, show up. That is so important for our confidence and for our mental health, our productivity, whatever it is that makes us feel good inside. That is an important factor about getting dressed with purpose. Now, I imagine most of you have the mindset that athleisure wear is way more comfortable than putting on and getting dressed in jeans or slacks or or putting on a dress um, and having to wear our heels or whatever. That is not comfortable for you. So you'd much rather just be in athleisure wear. And I get that. However, if you cultivate a wardrobe that is comfortable for you. You maybe have a nice pair of dress black slacks that you could dress up or down that fit you well, that flatter your figure, that feel comfortable. There is no reason why you can't dress that up or down and still feel comfortable. You can wear a pair of jeans and still feel comfortable if they fit right. So it's important that you curate a closet that is full of clothes that make you feel comfortable as well as give you options to style things how you would like to style them. It's easy to style up or down a pair of black slacks. It's easy to style up and style down a pair of jeans or a skirt. Even dresses you can dress up and down depending on what footwear you put on, what jacket you put on. It really does and really is up to you to how you want to communicate your style and what makes you feel comfortable and what you wear. I know for me, at leisure wear, I'm not as comfortable in as I am in a pair of jeans or a skirt or a dress um, or a pair of black slacks. That's me. That's what I feel more comfortable in is that is my kind of everyday uniform. During the summer, it's skirts and dresses. During the fall and winter, it's jeans and slacks. That's kind of how I roll. And I am starting to curate my closet to meet those needs. Not only for comfort, but for style and for affordability and for feeling good and put together. So that is the whole reason I get up every day and dress with purpose and why that is so important to me and why I want to encourage and inspire you to feel the same way. I want you to put those statistics to work for you. I want you to be more productive. I want you to be more focused. I want you to get more things done towards your goals, towards your dreams, towards the things that you want to accomplish and do in life. So ladies, I want to challenge you to put athleisure wear in its place. And that is for the gym. And I want to challenge you to put together three outfits from your closet. I want to pull three outfits together that are not athleisure wear, that you feel comfortable in, that you could style and work for you and for your daily, everyday lifestyle. 
Then I want you to see how you can work other pieces into those three outfits. You will find that you probably have a closet full of clothes that you could style in many different ways using different pieces to pull things together. So I really want you to take this challenge seriously and push yourself to come up with three outfits that make you feel comfortable, that make you feel confident, that when you get up and you get ready for the day, you are dressing with purpose. You're going to get dressed with purpose. I would love for you to share with me if you take the challenge, if you decide to implement the three outfit challenge, I would love for you to leave in the comments how that goes, what your experience was, even if it's good or bad, um, so that others can see how it has worked for you. It's easy for me to talk about how things work for me, but to see other people and maybe how it will shift your confidence or maybe how it shifts your productivity throughout the day as you ditch the leisure wear and move into a even elevated casual outfit look for the day. People appreciate that. I would appreciate it. I would love to see your experiences here, how that works for you. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to tackle a couple of topics. First one, we're going to talk about fast fashion. What is it? What does it mean in our wardrobes? Um, we're going to talk about some statistics and some things environmentally, and I'm going to share my opinions about it and give you an opportunity to think about what fast fashion is in your life and in your wardrobe. Two, we're going to talk about quiet luxury and having a quiet luxury style while still maintaining a normal person's budget. And then we're also going to talk about sustainable fashion. What that is, is it something that we should be mindful of? So those will be the next three weeks worth of podcasts. I'm excited to talk about these things, to um, share some things with you, and um, really just give you some other perspectives when it comes to fashion and style and incorporating the whole industry along with what we do as people who buy fashion, who style fashion, uh, who watch fashion trends. And so it'll be interesting to talk about these things and also to get your opinions on those things. So if you are watching this on video podcast, then I will put a, a link to a podcast that I did on confidence, uh, where I touch even a little bit more about how our confidence is impacted by the way that we get dressed and how we show up to dress with purpose. And if you're on the audio podcast, please leave a comment, um, rate the podcast. I would love for you to participate in the podcast community uh, wherever you listen to podcasts. I'm just so grateful and thankful that you would just even take the time to take me with you um, in your cars or in your workouts. Uh, I am extremely, extremely humbled and grateful for that. So I want you to remember that you get to choose every day to dress with purpose.